All right, so we're backstage here with uh, this guy who literally, you know, Dalton, you got mad or something. You just had a paintball fight. Oh, yeah. I, I was really, really upset last week about something. I can't remember what. And I just took a paintball gun to this jacket um, to relieve some stress. And it's your first time ever wearing dress shoes. Are they as bad as you think they are? Are they good? They're, They're okay? actually incredibly comfortable despite the fact that I have black dress socks over my lucky pink socks. Okay. Uh, so I got two socks on right now, which that's kind of hot. It's really hot in there. So you're probably normally a size like four, but those are size 15 shoes to yeah. fit all the socks. Yeah, exactly. That's me. Tiny feet, Dalton. Uh, so it's crazy. Um, you're in the bottom tonight. Uh, what, what does that kind of do, you know, to kind of get you, you together and, and make you hungry to sort of come back and kill it? For me, like, America wants what America wants. Um, I'm just going to keep telling my story for as long as I can, and, and they're going to tell me when to stop, you know. So being in the bottom, for me, I mean... Yeah, it's, it's scary because you don't want this to end, but it's ultimately America's choice and you got to respect their decision. What are you going to be doing um, the next couple weeks to make sure that, I, you know, I know you want to be in the finale, but what do you think it is about Dalton that has gotten you this far that you're going to make sure to really show um, to get you through to the top three, then two? And Honestly, I have no idea. I've kind of been shooting in the dark every week. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, like, the quality that, that let me get this far, but um, I'm just... I'm just kind of doing my best and I'm trying to convey my story um, and that's what I'll keep doing. Give us kind of like a, a paraphrase of what maybe some of the, the nicest messages that you've been getting that really hit home. Like what are some of the things that people are saying that kind of connects for you and keeps you motivated? Right before I got on stage to do Bird Set Free tonight there was a girl who came up to me and she was, she was on the verge of tears and, and she said to me that I, you know me sharing um, my story about mental illness really helped her with her depression and I like almost started crying at that point because I know how tough it is to be dealing with something like that and um, I've gotten messages like that from a lot of people but to, to see someone in person um, who you know has heard um, my story and, and, and connected with it, it it was definitely a really emotional moment. What is kind of your message? There's a lot of people out there dealing with different mental illness, including depression, and then the stigma that comes along with it. What's kind of your message for people that are going through it and see someone like you being able to fight through it and stay, um, you know, doing this well? Well, my main message is get help. Um, I mean, nobody can do it alone. Um, you know, you need a good support system, friends, family, whoever. And if you can be medicated, I would really suggest being medicated because, I mean, it might find a while to, to find a balance that works, but I mean, it will eventually work. Um, and also, like, people who make funny for it, screw them. They <laughs> suck. Right. Whatever. Don't hit them, but <laughs> think about it. <laughs> All right, lastly, what's like one rumor that you've read online or heard or something that's just crazy? You're like, what? Well, I mean, like, um, I like rumors. I, I hear a lot of, like, we're gay with each other, like me and Mackenzie, or me and Trent, or Trent and Mackenzie, which those are always funny because we, we're very, very close, but we are not quite that close. <laughs> we're about four layers of clothing away from being that close. <laughs> exactly, so you just got to laugh it off, and yeah. it, it comes with the business. All right, man, well, congratulations, top four, that's huge, and we'll see you back next week. They got to vote if they want to keep you yeah, in the top three. Vote. My number's five, please, 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 I don't want to die. I don't want to get killed <laughs> off. They cut your head off backstage if you get sent home. It's like Survivor. It's really legit here. You, you you get buried under the building. Oh, yeah. Have you seen that episode of The Walking Dead where they're like in front of the trough and yeah. they just get there? That's it. That's what happens. That was filmed backstage at the American Idol lot. People think Ryan looked nice, but yeah. I mean, that's really what he's Yeah, saying. yeah, yeah. It's the, his, his shirts are stained red with the blood of <laughs> contestants. <laughs> Don't make it through. All right, you guys, make sure you're voting for Dalton so we can see him back here every week on American Idol. Thank you.